Hey there, Duncan here from Writesonic. In this video today, we're gonna to be looking at how to create awesome entire blog posts in just a few minutes using our AI article writer feature. So let's jump in and get started. Okay, so I like this one, raised bed gardening. Um, it's informational, so there's a scope to write about it using Writesonic and it's got a decent search volume and there's gonna be some probably interesting related topics. So let's go with that. And I'm gonna put raised bed gardening as the topic and click generate ideas. So remember, this is coming up with the initial ideas for the article. We're not stuck with this, but it's a good way to obviously come up with ideas if you're a bit stuck. So let's do six tips for raised bed gardening. So I'm just gonna copy this and then go over to the AI article writer 3.0 and put this as my topic. So generally this step, you know, you can put more of a broad topic in here as well, and then it's gonna come up with ideas. But the reason that I went with the idea generator first is because it does have that SEM rush integration to come up with SEO optimized topics. So as you can see, it's expanded upon the six tips headline here, and we've got um, some variations along that. So uh, we've got from, yeah. So this one I like from planting to harvesting and then more focused on saving time and money here. Um, and then this one, six tips of raised bed gardening that will make your life so much easier. So I actually really like this one. I'm gonna go with that. And then next up is to generate intros. So um, intros for blog posts and articles are really important because personally, I don't often read the rest of the article if the intro is terrible. So, you know, it is worth paying attention to this and writing a good intro. So, you know, I like this one here, raised beds are the best way to garden in a small space. So it's kind of qualified some of the problems that people might have with other types of gardening and it's made it more specific. So I really like this intro. I think that's a good start. And with any of these steps, you can always edit, you can you know add paragraphs or if you, you don't like certain aspects, you can remove it. Um, but it's pretty good for now. I'm gonna leave most of the editing until the end. So next up is to generate outlines. And this is coming up with the structure of the article. And as you can see here, we've got some, some different options here. And some of them are, okay, so we've, we've definitely got six tips um, apart from these two where it's missed out one. So, you know, sometimes that happens. Um, but these, these look good. Um, you know, I'm not actually a gardening expert, so I can't say for sure, but they, they do seem to be pretty decent from what I do know. So one of the features which has been added recently is the select individual outlines option. So I, I quite like this because you can pick and choose your favorite ones. Um, but for now, I think this one is pretty good. So I'm just gonna go with this whole set of outlines to save a bit of time here. Uh, you can still edit them. So if you want to change the order um, or add another one here, then you can do that and you can also remove them. So I think that's a, a pretty good intro and outline for this article that I'm gonna be writing. So next step is to click write an article. And this step takes a bit longer because obviously it's writing an entire article from scratch. So you may need to wait a few extra seconds for this, but it should be worth it once you get the article. So you can see it's uh, produced an article of 868 words so far. Um, and on first glance, it looks pretty good. So the next step now, if I want to take this further is to take it into the Sonic editor. So this is that long form copy editor and this allows you to build upon the 
starting point of the article which we've got here, which is really good, but it allows you to basically generate content of any length. So if we wanted to turn this into a whole book, we could do that with a Sonic episode. So if you don't want to do that though, you can just click download and it will um, save a Word document file or a text file with this article as it is right now. So what I'm going to do though is click edit this article with the Sonic editor. And as you can see, we have this full page editor and there's a number of different options here. So I'll just quickly run through what those options are. Obviously you can do any of the normal editing that you want to do. So if you just want to change the uh, formatting, so add some more paragraphs. I like shorter paragraphs, that's my preference. I just find it easier to read. So some of these I will break up a bit more. And as you can see, sometimes they're formatted slightly inconsistently by the AI. So sometimes you do just want to go through and clean that up. And obviously if there's any factual errors or particularly any specific numbers or facts that are referenced, you do want to double check those because the way that our AI works is it's basically being trained on a huge amount of the entire internet, look to the way people write, and it's trying to be creative and original. And so sometimes the facts and specific numbers, it doesn't quite get right. So if there's any of those in there, then you do just want to double check those. And really it's about using our tools as a writing assistant. It's not about just taking the output and blindly publishing it. You know, you're not going to get the best results that way. And Google does not like that. So it's best to use it as a writing assistant. That's the way it was designed. So the idea is to take this and build upon it and edit to make sure that it all makes sense. This is a really good starting point and I will just show you some of the other features of the AI before we move on. So if, for example, you wanted to expand upon any of these parts, then there's a few ways to do that. So what you can do is select the part that you want to add to and then simply click write with AI. And what that's going to do is take the context of around that part is um, what it's going to do is take the context around that part and it's going to write based on what it sees around the text. So as you can see here, we've added some information. Um, we already had a bit about um, a soil rake and cultivating fork, uh, but what it's done is written a bit more about what these tools are. And then we have this section here where it's talking about um, a list of the best tools. So this would actually be really good. Um, let's say if we had a broader gardening site, then this would be a good opportunity to have an internal link to perhaps a post where we could have a list of tools. And that would actually be a really good type of post to have affiliate offers in and to earn money through your blog that way. In this case, this is just an example. So I'm going to remove this. So we've added another section here, actually, what kinds of soil should I use? So let me just check whether we have anything about that. So I think this would go a bit better with this other section that we have on soil. And then this one should be another header. Um, when I publish this, it would be at H3, but um, I'm going to add it as an H2 for here. And then just check that um, everything is complete. So sometimes you get half a sentence and you can... So sometimes you get half a sentence and you can either just remove that if you feel like you've got enough content there or you can click write again and it will expand on that. So depending on the, the length that you're looking for, you can do either one there. So I'm going to remove this. You might have seen a couple of times when I'm selecting text, there's a few different options here. So um, if you want to rephrase something, then you can do that. If you want to expand upon that particular part that's been selected, 
rather than just writing generally around that area, then you can do that there as well. And if you want to rephrase it in a more concise way, then you can also do that as well. So let me just quickly show you that. So for example, if I select this paragraph here and click rephrase, it's gonna give me some options for different ways that the sentence could be said instead. So this one, yeah, this one's kind of switched things around a bit. So instead of if your garden beds are prone to soil erosion, we've got mulch helps to protect your garden beds from being damaged by soil erosion. So I think that is pretty good. Um, another thing that we can do is expand upon this. So if we wanted more information about soil erosion specifically, then I could select that and then it's going to give me some options. So um, for example, this one here has uh, expanded upon that and it's got some information on basically why, why you might have soil erosion uh, specifically. As you can see, some of the punctuation isn't fully correct here, so you do just need to watch that sometimes, but overall um, that, has, that has worked reasonably well. So uh, what you can also do is uh, shorten something. So if I, um, let's say, remove that, I'm gonna select this part and then click shorten. And so that's gonna aim to create a more concise way of saying the same thing, which is often very useful. So as you can see here, it's kind of summarized the main thing here. So it's removed some of the details about why you're having soil erosion, but it has kept the, um, the core of what's important there. Um, I'm gonna leave it as it was before, but that is how those features work. So obviously you can just use this as your regular text editor as well. You can, you can write um, whatever you need to in here as well. And then when you're ready to um, explore that, uh, you can click and you'll get a downloadable document, which you can then take and edit further, um, hand off to the rest of your team, or you can publish directly on whatever platform you're using, whether that's WordPress or anything else. So hopefully that's given you more of an in-depth look at how you can use our AI tools to create a high quality blog post in really just a few minutes. So if you've got questions about this, then best place to go is the Write Sonic community on Facebook. There's a good group of people in there and you'll be able to get your questions answered quickly in there. Uh, you can also message support and we do also hold fairly regular live training sessions. So if you're already subscribed to Write Sonic, we'll send those out by email. And thanks for watching this video.